Well, the short answer, Nancy, is absolutely. And the president was crystal clear that AGOA will be a major second term priority. Uh, and uh, he was also very clear that as we pursue a renewal of AGOA, we want to do it in a way that uh, connects our development investment to the opportunities that that creates. Mm -hmm. uh, and we launched, for example, in the East African community, a program called Trade Africa, which we will expand to other uh, regions within Africa, recognizing that intra-African trade still hardly accounts for 10% of the region's total trade. In other parts of the world, it's 40% or 60% in Western Europe, for example. And we think there's a lot of opportunity uh, for that kind of intra-regional trade. The, in addition to that, the president was also very clear that as we pursue a NAGOA renewal, uh, we'll, you know, there are issues that will have to be worked through so that companies on both sides have a level playing field and can engage in an effective way. And there are a few, a few issues related to that in South Africa, for example, that you know, we're going to need to work through. Mike Froman was on the trip as the newly mm -hmm. minted uh, ambassador uh, for uh, as the U.S. Trade Representative. Uh, and, you know, we're going to be deeply committed as a team well, to that's a good making signal that happen. And, 